Hey, my YouTube friend, Barry Burns here with Top Dog Trading. Today, talking about one of the best trading indicators, strategies on any platform, any software that really, I like this, I love this. Um, it's actually a drawing tool and it's an old one, definitely nothing new, but sometimes the old stuff is good. And I'll tell you what, I don't find a lot of people still using this. And so, Sometimes people are always looking for an edge with new stuff and that's cool, but you know what? Sometimes you can find an edge by bringing back something old that people aren't using anymore. And that's definitely the case here. I use this all the time and I absolutely love it. So it's the good old fashioned Andrews pitchfork. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways of tactically how to use this. So first of all, you want to see that you have a uh, change of direction. Let me take that off there for a second, actually. So we have had a move up. All right. And now we're looking for a move down. And I find that this is especially good for exits. So we'll focus on exits today rather than entries. And that's one of the big problems that I see people having is uh, they write me and they say, Barry, I don't know where to get out of the market. Where do I exit? And I will tell you that I agree. Entries, I have no problem with entries. I am the master of when to get into the market. I really got that down. But exits are much more challenging than entries. In fact, even as I've talked to other traders and uh, traders at the exchanges and so forth who have been trading for decades, I uh, interviewed them and they have told me rather consistently saying, yep, even though I've made all this money in trading, I'll tell you the one thing I felt I never mastered was when to get out of the market. And I don't honestly think that anyone knows the perfect time to get out, but what we're looking for is a good time to get out when we can have a high probability exit where we've made you know, so good money and say, okay, so this is a good time to get out. Not that we're going to ever catch the entire move of every single impulse or every single trend. That would be unrealistic. So certainly not expecting that. But what we do want is a good risk reward ratio. And we want a reasonable, logical, and high probability time to exit. So first of all, let me show you how to draw this. You'll see that I just did it right there. It's a three point drawing tool. So we're going to take a high. Remember, we're looking for a reversal here. So we go to high to a low to another high. So that's the basic thing is that against the three point drawing tool. So you start there and then to there and then a lower high. So we're looking for that shift in a trend. Okay. Now you'll see that it draws tines. These are called tines, T-I-N-E-S, because, well, that's just the term for the um, little things that come off of a fork. And since this is called Andrew's Pitch Fork, that's what they call this. So we've got our middle tine here. This is just the center line, if you want to consider it that. Then we've got this uh, main section here. I'm actually going to do it both ways just so we can kind of see that. And you'll see that I have these two uh, colored very differently. So the middle one I make black and then the two outside of that I make thicker and darker blue. And then the ones out of the, outside of that a little lighter blue and the one outside of that a lot lighter blue. And that's just for visual identification. Okay, you know what I should do too is actually show you my settings here because I know I'll get questions on that, which um, don't blame you. I would expect that. Okay, so here's my settings for it. And now your settings may be a little different, different charting platforms. They seem to use a little different um, things uh, for the parameters and so forth. But anyway, here you can see the handle. All right, so the handle is that part where the fork, you would actually pick up the fork, <laughs> so to say. All right. And then we've got time one, time two. And so there you'll see, those are the, um, darker blue lines that I've got. And I made them a width of four. That's just for customization, but the percentages, the colors, the, the width, all that, that's just however you want to do it, uh, based on your personal preference. But what is important here are the percentages. So time one is 100%, time two is 0%. Now I have found that 
different trading platforms will uh, prescribe different percentages there, but this is for NinjaTrader 7. So these are going to be equidistant from the handle, from the middle line. And then from there, I use 50% um, differences. All right, so we've got our 100%, and then we've got our 150, we got 0%, then we got minus 50. And then after 150, we've got 200, and after negative 50, we've got negative 100. So those are the settings that I use here. Okay, now you know how to set it up. Let's talk about the tactics on how to trade this for exits. So the primary thing that I'm watching, I'll move this forward, is I'm actually saying already. So the times that are the most important in order to stay within a, mm, let's say a strong downtrend is these two here, all right? So that'll be your zero and 100. Now, what we're going to look at here is basically we're looking at an energy of this first move from down to up and then back down. And we're saying, all right, so this first lower high and the low between it established a pattern, almost a geometric pattern, if you will. And as long as price action stays between these two times or these two lines, we are continuing that same type of energy. So one of the things that we will look at is, for example, when it gets down to here, okay, it's still within that zone. When it gets out of here, oh, now we're breaking outside of that same energy. In other words, the market is not going down with as much enthusiasm as it started with. So it's starting that, that downward energy, that trend down is starting to dissipate if you will. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to go up right away. Uh, sometimes it does, but this is a little more typical of what happens. So it comes back down, hits that time, comes back up, comes back down, hits that time, comes back up, kind of rides this one down. Alrighty, and let's see what happens from here. Now, when it breaks out of the final one, the final line or tine or whatever you want to call it, then I consider, okay, this downtrend completely done, this pitchfork over, not going to look at that pitchfork anymore. I could just take it off of the chart if I wanted to. Uh, that would be one place to exit. Another place to exit is um, a little more aggressive. You get a little more reward on it is when you wait for it to break out uh, outside of this major time here and then look for it to come back. Look for it to come back and see how low it can go. So it may not come all the way down, back down to here. You could look for things like a double bottom, things like that. But just look for it to come back down here and then take a profit down here. So those are two options for you. There's never one thing that's always the best, unfortunately. But this is your primary signal is right there. The signal that the energy has changed just to no longer is dramatic to the downside. All right. Now, having done that, let's just move our chart forward a little bit. And let me show you how we can then uh, measure this thing to the upside. So now that we've broken out, we're OK. Let's say we went long. So oops, got the wrong thing here. I wanted to actually move up here. So now we bring up our Andrews Pitchfork again, and now we've got that low and that high and this low here. All right, so now that we've got that, we've got the same kind of thing going on again. And I'll actually, um, now that you see why we drew that. So we drew it, why? Because we look for it after we put in another high and then another low after we've broken out of that time there, right? The two major ones. Okay. So now let's see. So that's not so cluttered. Let's actually go back and take this one off. Just create more clarity for you. Okay. So now what we, here's another way to exit. And again, there's different techniques because the market doesn't always do the same thing every time. 
So it comes in here, holds that one, gets a little below it, comes back up to the mid one, holds this one. By the way, notice that it also kind of provides diagonal support resistance, if you will. All right, now here is the point of the second type of exit. Once it gets above the upper major tine, I call these my two primary tines, my two major tines. So this is then a very um, aggressive move to the upside. For it to break above, see last time we were looking for it to break below the tine to get out, right? Now we're saying, okay, it's going in the direction of the trend and it broke out above the major wind at the top. So I consider that to be often an exhaustion move. It's almost like when you see a uh, reversal candlestick pattern that coincides with a high volume volume bar. And you say, oh, that's an exhaustion pattern. Well, this would be the same type of concept where statistically it's getting above the, the norm. And so when I see this, I say, oh, okay, you know what? That might be a good place to get out. We'll go and break both the high of that. I don't know. It's possible. But statistically, or even with the market action and energy, that is a very, very, very bullish move. And therefore, I consider it an exhaustion move. And whatever the market does in the future, that's probably going to at least... Um, regress or retrace down quite a while and I don't want to sit through that why not just I mean we made some good money here let's say you got in whether you got in there or let's say you got in here or even if you got in here you know you made some good money honey you got some you got a great PL there so you know because this is one way you could do it as far as entries go you could say okay let's set up our um, Andrew's pitchfork and then wait for it to hold the lower level and buy there that would be one thing to do. Okay, so my risk, very small. It's basically that little rectangle there. And my reward is that. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So that is, um, just to give you a little preview of how you can also enter on it, let's just see what it did do. Okay, look at that. It actually did make a higher high after that. But look what it also did in the meantime, which is very cool. So this is where uh, I would get out on an exhaustion move. It comes back down, goes to the this tine, goes to that tine, goes to that one, goes to that one, goes to the see how it's providing diagonal support resistance, almost makes it to that one, comes down here, rides that one up, comes down here, crazy, almost, you know, uncanny. Did it make a little higher high after where I got out? Yep. So what? So what? I don't want to hang in there through, you know, this uh, retrace. And if it goes up higher, great. Again, we're not going to catch every single penny on every single move. Just impossible. That is a good high probability exit. And that's what I'm looking for. High probability exits. Not looking to be right. Looking to make some money. And then, well, what happens? Then when it finally does break down below this final time, then, huh, look at that. Sure enough, the trend reverses and it goes down so that is one of my favorite trading indicators, strategies, drawing tools, whatever you want to call it. Test it out for yourself. See how you like it. Now, if you like this video, if you found it interesting, please understand that it's not free. Wait a minute. It's not free. I just watched it. Yeah, it is free. Okay. But from a spiritual point of view, if you got value from it, then you have an obligation to pay it forward. Share it with other people. That's what we're supposed to do as good people, right? And that's really the very best thing you can do is to click the share button below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and click the thumbs up icon. And one of the best things you can do also is leave a comment. I love your comments. Even if you disagree with me or maybe you have something to add to the conversation to help other traders who are watching this, that's all great. We invite it all. I have a very special offer to you. I'm giving away one of my favorite trade strategies called the rubber band trade. It has a super high win loss ratio. In fact, I still take this trade every single time I see it. That's how good it is. And it's pretty simple. I'll teach it to you in 26 short minutes. So get my rubber band trade strategy absolutely free by simply clicking on the image in the top right corner of this video or in the description above or below this video. If you're not watching it on YouTube, there's probably a link below or above or an opt-in form on the side. Anyway, 
once you do one of those things, I'll personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.